I appreciate the opportunity to discuss with you the changes our firm and the industry have put in place in the 10 years since the financial crisis. I appreciate this committee's focus on accountability. As the new chairman and CEO of Goldman Sachs, on behalf of the 36,000 employees of the firm, I am proud to tell you we just celebrated our 150th anniversary. Our clients from around the world range from pension funds and retirement funds, endowments, foundations, large and small businesses, state and local governments, startups, and individuals. And what remains true today is that our employees work every day to provide these clients with best-in-class service and to work hard to earn their trust. Today, the U.S. financial system is substantially safer and more resilient. Financial institutions hold significantly more capital, and they have materially reduced their leverage and their holdings of illiquid assets. Since the end of 2007, Goldman Sachs' equity has more than doubled. Our leverage has decreased by more than 60 percent, and our liquidity has more than tripled. We're confident that we could withstand very substantial market shocks, and the Federal Reserve's rigorous stress test affirms that. Dodd-Frank has made the system safer, and we've made important progress in adapting to that regulatory environment. However, after 10 years of experience, it seems appropriate to assess whether improvements can be made to avoid duplication, inconsistency, and undue cost, in particular on our customers and our clients. In addition to the Dodd-Frank reforms, we've made a number of important enhancements that relates to our business at Goldman Sachs. We undertook a three-year review of the firm's business standards and practices, the most extensive review in the firm's history, and implemented a number of important recommendations ranging from conflicts of interest to transparency and disclosure. The changes we made are a part of a much longer, much larger ongoing commitment by our firm to be more self-aware, open to change, learn the right lessons from experience. We know that we will inevitably make mistakes, but we commit to learn from them and respond in a way that meets the high expectations of our clients and our customers, shareholders, employees, regulators, Congress, as well as the broader public. As it relates to our business strategy since the crisis, Goldman Sachs has recently entered the consumer finance market. In 2016, we launched our digital consumer platform called Marcus. In designing Marcus, we spoke with more than 10,000 people across the country to understand their banking needs. As a result, we value simplicity, transparency, and these are at the core of our consumer products. Marcus is evolving into a suite of products and services that can help millions of people save, borrow, and spend. We offer online savings accounts and certificates of deposits, and we currently have a savings account rate of two and a quarter percent with no monthly fees, no transaction fees, and no overdraft fees. We, are also we also provide customizable no-fee fixed-rate personal loans, which are generally used to consolidate higher interest rate debt or as an alternative to credit cards or other higher rate debt. One central issue to our broader ability to compete is diversity, and I'm motivated personally to make real lasting change on improving the diversity of Goldman Sachs. We are committed to long-term goals that increase the representation of diverse communities across all levels of our firm and we hold managers accountable in advancing these goals. Lastly, I believe we've built a highly impactful set of programs that have, been create, that have created opportunities for thousands of women entrepreneurs and small businesses. In the last 10 years, we've committed more than $2.5 billion to initiatives that provide more access to capital, training, and broader community support. Through our 10,000 Small Business Initiative, we provide education by partnering with community colleges, business support services, and greater access to capital to thousands of small businesses across all 50 states, Puerto Rico, and the District of Columbia. I'm particularly proud that Goldman Sachs is one of the largest private contributors to community colleges in the United States. Since 2001, we have also committed approximately $7.8 billion through our Urban Investment Group to benefit low to moderate income communities. Approximately 80% of the Urban Investment Group's investment are located in or serve minority communities. And last year, we announced Launch with GS, a $500 million initiative to invest in women-led companies and investment managers, which we will expand to include businesses founded, owned, or led by people of color. Looking ahead, we see tremendous opportunity to deploy our investing capital and expertise around core themes that defined our country's success and progress, including the environment, healthcare, education, infrastructure, and many other areas. Thank you for the privilege of being here today. I am happy to answer any questions that you have.